hi uh, um, in this video uh, we will see runtime polymorphism in java so uh, also known as dynamic method dispatch so uh, runtime polymorphism occur only in case of inheritance uh, uh, so for that thing we need two classes one class as parent class another class as child class so we are taking class first as parent and class second as child so we will inherit class first in class second so these two classes we are having this is the parent class the class first this is the child class class second and let's define some method in void let's say display and here we are printing this uh, uh, class first display method uh, similar uh, in child class we also defined one method void show and we will say uh, system dot out dot println class second show method okay so uh, as we know from inheritance concept that child class will inherit all the properties of parent class except constructor so class second also having one copy of display method with it so second class object can also invoke display method when we call a method so that statement is known as method calling and the the place where that method is defined so that method call has to link with method definition now if that linking is performed at uh, compile time that is known as static linking and if that linking is performed at runtime that is known as dynamic linking or uh, runtime binding so here uh, we have defined a method show so let's uh, create a method of a object of class one and we are calling ob dot display so uh, uh, what actually happening here is that we are creating object of class 1 and ob object is calling display method now uh, uh, class of this object will be checked what is the class of ob the class of ob is first sorry uh, we have written here one uh, this is first Okay, so class of OB is first. So display method from first class will be called. So this is the way how it works. Now what we will do is that uh, we will overwrite that method. It means child class also uh, uh, will space uh, define the same method. Again, the, this concept known as method overriding. Uh, System dot out dot print ln Mm, class second display method so now uh, class second inheriting one method display but it has redefined that method so now if we create object of class second if we call a display method this method will be called not this one because class second has redefined the method so now in order to understand the runtime uh, polymorphism there is a statement uh, that a parent class reference variable so how to create a parent class reference variable say like this one parent class reference variable can refer child class object so the meaning of that statement is that so here uh, the reference variable belong uh, is of parent class but the object is of child class so this is a property of in, uh, inheritance because parent class are considered as superior class so their reference variable can have a reference of child class object now now if the display method is called now there is a confusion state like this ref having a class first so we can uh, speculate this this display method will be 
called but this ref is having object of class second and class second also having a copy of display method so now we are having two options one display method of second class whose object is stored in ref variable and one display method of first class uh, which is the type of reference variable ref so okay let's uh, delete this one so our classes are having only single single method class second is redefining the method method overriding so runtime polymorphism says that in this case uh, type of this reference variable is not checked what is checked type of object will be checked now we cannot check object type at compile time because the at runtime memory will be allocated and then object will be uh, initialized and in that case object can be uh, figured out what is the type of that object so this decision actually delayed at execution time that uh, which display method is to be called class first or class second so at execution time object type of this reference variable is checked and what is the object type here second so now display method of second class will be called so if we see the execution of this program so we will compile this program java c ex dot java this is the na file name of our program and in order to execute we have to write class name we have to use class name which having main method so here class 1 is having main method so here if you can see class second display method it means when we are uh, storing child class object in parent class reference variable and if we are calling any overridden method so which method will be called this decision is taken on the basis of type of object not on the type of reference variable so method is actually dispatching or method linking as performed as execution time that's why this concept is known as dynamic method dispatch or we can say runtime polymorphism why we are having two copy of the same method Okay, so multiple options are there. Uh, interface is same, name is same, display, but their behaviors are different. Here, the display method printing this message. Here, this display message printing another message. So this is a example of polymorphism. And why runtime? Because this polymorphism is taking place at runtime. Uh, opposite of runtime polymorphism, there is compile time polymorphism is here. So in Java, method overloading, constructor overloading. Are the example of compile time polymorphism, but dynamic method dispatch. This is the example of runtime polymorphism. So this only only one uh, this runtime polymorphism will occur only in this case if we are storing object of child class in parent class reference variable. Thank you very much.